In today's gaming news, Toxic kicks it old school, play Battlefield 4 for free, and Metro Redux is more than just a graphical improvement. Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the show. My name is Force, here with your day's gaming news. First up today, a brand new competitive arena multiplayer FPS by the name of Toxic, with two Ks, has been announced. And a lot of feature trailers will talk about what a game has, but this one's focusing on what it doesn't have. Toxic does not have classes, no leveling, no regenerating health, no cover system, no iron sight aiming, no reloading, and most importantly of all, Toxic has no bullshits. That's literally one of the things that showed in the trailer. It said no bullshit. I don't know. Beyond the trailer, appearing to try too hard. And besides the fact that this might be one of the stupidest names for a video game, come on, Toxic with two Ks? I mean, what do you. It, they're trying really hard to portray an image, I understand. They want to go back to the roots, the old school arena, Quake, Unreal Tournament, just all skill-based shooting. There's actually a Founders Pack program that you can buy into right now, ranging anywhere between 5 and $90, and I believe it is at the $15 price point that you'll be getting access to the game's beta, which is supposed to be sometime in quarter four of 2014, so sometime soon. I don't think it's starting now, but it'll be coming out at some point in the future. So if you like this kind of no bullshit arena style shooting, maybe you should check out Toxic with two Ks. Uh, if you like more modern style shooting though, but you have yet to play Battlefield 4, I've got some great news for you. You can play it now for free for a full week. Thanks to the brand new Origin Game Time program from now until Thursday, August 14th, as soon as you download the game, you will have one full week of playtime. So if you actually wait until next Wednesday or Thursday and download it then, you can play Battlefield 4 for free from that point forward for a full week. And Battlefield 4, a full week of it? I mean, truthfully, if you haven't picked up this game, or if you're, say, someone who's a dedicated Battlefield 3 player but didn't pick up Battlefield 4 because of all the problems it had it launched. I don't know how many of those have been resolved by now. I haven't been keeping up on it, but it's a great opportunity to give it a shot. Maybe it's fixed now, nearly a year after release. I don't know, but uh, you know, check it out. Battlefield 4. It's free for a week. All you need is an origin account. Oh, woe is you. It's not that big of a deal. Just sign up. Try your free games. There's not much else to complain about. And last up in news today, I wanted to tell you guys about a brand new remastering of the Metro series. This is going to include Metro 2033 and Metro Last Light. The remastering is known as Metro Redux. Now, a lot of times we just sort of get a graphical overhaul. For example, we just had the Last of Us remaster where they just made the game look a bit prettier. That is not the case with Metro Redux. We're getting some big, big improvements. Yes, we're going to get better graphics, but we're also getting new game modes, additional content, and features. So this is going to be applied once again to Metro Last Light, but the biggest changes and the biggest improvements and what I'm most excited for is what's coming with Metro 2033. 2033 is going to be a completely rebuilt game with improved AI, weapons handling, stealth, the mask wipe, and weapon customization features that we saw in Last Light. There's also going to be brand new areas, uh, brand new secrets in the game. They're going to be removing some of the loading screens and making seamless transitions. I'll tell you why I'm super stoked. Metro Last Light was one of my favorite games of the year when it launched. I loved it. Played it from start to finish in the period of like a day or two. I just thought it was amazing. But I had never played 2033. It's a game that I've heard great things about. And so in fact, after Last Light came out, some people said they still like 2033 better. Now this is going to be 2033. It's going to look a hell of a lot better, more dynamic effects, more frames, polygons, all that stuff. All the improvements that we saw in Last Light in terms of the gameplay, a new, more challenging difficulty modes, there's really nothing to not be excited about. I'm, I'm completely thrilled and cannot wait to pick up the remastered version of Metro 2033. I don't know that I'm going to pick up the remastered version of Last Light. You can purchase them separately or as a bundle. I'm probably just going to get 2033, but I honestly can't wait because of how much I love Last Light and because because of all these things that we just talked about that are going to be coming to 2033, I, I am, I'm super excited. I don't even know. I'm like at a loss for words. It, it just, it, I'm at a loss for breath even because I'm so stoked for it. So yeah, Metro Redux, it's happening. So anyways, guys, that's going to do it for today's episode of The Feed. As always, thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to comment in the comments section below about any of the topics discussed here today. Toxic, are you badass enough to play it? Uh, <laughs> 
<laughs> uh, are you going to be trying out Battlefield 4 for free if you haven't already? And then Metro Redux 2033 Last Light. Are you picking up both either? Let me know in the comments below, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you have a fantastic day. Once again, this has been Force and you have just been force fed. Look, I totally get what they were doing. The hardcore arena FPS players consider them the most, they consider themselves the most badass of badass gamers in history. But come on, this was ridiculous. No bullshit. We are hardcore arena. Let's frag party like it's 1999. It's probably the corniest stuff that I've ever seen in a trailer. And I've seen some pretty corny stuff.